Hello world! Welcome to my channel! It's a really lovely morning here in Bali and today I'm very excited to film this video because I had it in my mind for quite some time. Now if someone would approach and ask me what is the best way to invest 100 US dollars, I would have an answer. In my opinion, it's buying an e-reader. Yeah! Why? Because buying an e-reader is investing in yourself and whenever you invest in yourself, most of the times it has crazy returns on investment. In this video I want to share with you my story and also tell you the reasons why I think this device is incredible. Let's begin. Up until I was 19 years old I did not read at all and I thought that reading is boring, but then when I got this thing as my birthday gift, that's actually when my self-development career started. Now there are many different brands for e-readers, from what I know the best ones are Kindle and Kobo. I personally have Kindle, that's why in this video I will be referring to this name. Also I encourage many of my family members and friends to buy one of these. And back in the university I was even giving presentations to encourage students to do the same. That's actually the reason why I felt like sharing this story, to encourage more people to do the same and get one of these devices. Let's begin with my reasoning. Reason number one, it boosts self-development because it makes reading really easy to follow on a daily basis. And having reading as a habit actually changes your life tremendously. In my personal case, I was reading a lot of self-help books, a lot of biographies, and they were simply inspiring me and providing me with information to act on my life simply to get in charge, to take the wheel and lead the boat rather than simply being an observer of your life. Reason number two is that this thing is handy. If you look at its size, it's extremely convenient and you can easily carry it with you 24-7. Now if you compare an e-reader with the phone, there is not that much of a difference and that's why it's so simple to have it with you always. But comparing it with paperback, you can see that the size difference is tremendous. Whenever I was going to work, I had to spend an entire hour on the train. And because I had Kindle, it actually made it possible that I don't waste my time. I entertain myself and I get new ideas and it was great. Reason number three, all in one. Because Kindle has 8 GB of memory, it means that you can store approximately 6,000 books on this device. Simply imagine a library of 6,000 books versus this small thing. Technology makes it possible, it's very convenient. Also, for example, for people like me who like to read multiple books at the same time, this makes it possible and you don't need to carry all the paperbacks with you anymore. Reason number four is that you can adjust it to your wants. You can choose the font that you like and most importantly you can choose the font size that suits to your eyes. Because whenever you buy a book, you cannot adjust anything. And for some people, the font can be too big or too small. So having this possibility makes it a lot of easier for people to read. Also, another big one is that you can adjust the light. If it's completely turned off, then of course it's just like a paper. But during those dark nights, you don't need to turn on the lamp anymore. Or for example, whenever I was traveling by plane during the night, you don't really want to disturb people around you. You simply turn on the light and it makes reading easily possible. Reason number five is crazy battery life. For me this is also really important because I have horrible problems with my iPhone. After a year most of the times the iPhone's battery is drained, but with this device it lasts for 20 good hours of reading on average, which means that if you read one hour per day then it will last you for three weeks. And also it's important to note that after three years the battery capacity did not really reduce. Reason number six is that you can forget about bookstore. Not only it's really convenient having the option to buy your books whenever you have a connection to the internet, but also for example when I was living in the Netherlands I couldn't really buy books in Russian language, but because I was downloading ebooks it was possible for me to read in Russian. And also now when I'm in Bali I don't really have that many stores to buy books, so internet connection solves all my problems. Reason number seven is connectivity. What I mean by connectivity is that first of all Kindle is connected to the service Goodreads. If you don't know what Goodreads is, it's like IMDb for movies, but Goodreads is for books, where you can find all the suggestions, where you can see all the reviews, the scores, also where you can have your digital library. Many people who prefer paperbacks, they say that they like to stack them all together and have this pile of books that they've read. 
but it's also possible to track this whole progress in your digital account where you have all your bookshelves the ones that you read the ones that you want to read it's also possible to have your friends there track whatever they read and set yourself an annual reading goal also in the connectivity I mean dictionary whenever I want to look up the word that I don't know I can do it right from the Kindle and the last one is connectivity is being able to highlight whatever moments and parts that I like all these highlights are stored in separate doc and whenever I want I export it to my laptop and I can get back to whatever information was interesting for me or to whatever I wanted to give a second thought reason number eight is that with an e-reader it's possible to save money first of all of course I'm referring to all those internet libraries where you can legally download a lot of books for free But also, I am really not proud of it and I'm not encouraging people to do that But because I speak Russian language, it was extremely easy to download all the books for free Which saved me a fortune throughout my student years Also, some of the times when you compare prices of ebooks versus the prints ebooks come cheaper reason number nine is zero distraction Now we all know with the devices like iPhones and iPads we do have a lot of distractions all those notifications all those applications in my case whenever i was trying to read something from an iphone i wasn't able to focus for more than five minutes however having a separate device just for reading makes it possible for you to have zero distraction and being able to focus on something that really requires your attention is very important reason number 10 is eco friendliness of this thing I actually do believe that this is way more healthy for our planet rather than printing all those books because why would you print 6,000 books when you simply can store all of them on this device whenever I imagine all the deforestation that is being done by the print industry I simply think that it's really not necessary so let's protect the trees let's save our planet and use our resources in the most efficient way this was it these were my reasons why I think that e-readers are incredible I hope that this information was valuable to you I hope that you will consider buying one of these and if you like this video make sure you subscribe to the channel make sure that you like this video and stay tuned for the upcoming content see you in the next one kids